Hello everyone, it's Kavindi here from IT Rebels. In this video, we are going to build an HTML website, a blog website, and we are going to learn how to use HTML inside blogging. So this kind of website we are going to build, and I love Naruto. Uh, there will be an embedded YouTube video also, uh, and a footer section, an article section. And we are going to use uh, modern HTML semantic tags, which will help uh, us in SEO too. Let's start. As if you want to see uh, how this website is built, here is a code. So this code, I will provide it to you. As you can see, it's only a single file. We are only using HTML to build it. And some sort of uh, some sort of styling, which we will see later in CSS lessons. But I will teach you uh, how to use uh, internal styles inside HTML in this video. And in our next lesson, we will see how to build an HTML emailer. So you can create a HTML emailer for, for your newsletters. So let's start by building our website. Let's see, we will took this website as reference and start building our own. Let's close this video. Let's open a folder uh, and create a file. Okay. Now, how to open a folder in VS Studio Code? So just click, uh, hover over files and click on open folder. And you can create a new folder if you want, but I already have one. I will just open that. I'm going to use HTML folder. There is one file inside this HTML folder. We are going to take this file also as reference and create a new file called home or baby blog blog blog.html we have learned uh, that every html file have a dot html extension and now why i am we uh, have created this html file inside visual studio code now uh, let's uh, create a boilerplate Let, so to create a boilerplate we have to use html then visual studio code is very smart uh, I opened this tag and it uh, it already closed that for me. So this is because of Amit functionality in Pop Visual Studio Code. It is very helpful for us developers to this uh, to use this uh, tools. Now there will be a HTML head section, H E A D head, and inside uh, this head there will be a title, T I T L E title, and there will be a body, B O D body. So this is uh, HTML basic boilerplate. Uh, we have to add this uh, to create an HTML website. But uh, if you want, uh, we are doing something like this every single time. That would be a very bad experience for us. So in Visual Studio Code, they have already uh, solved this issue. To create an HTML boilerplate, just click on uh, Shift and exclamatory mark. That's your number one. So it will prompt you like this uh, and single exclamatory. And when, when you click on that, it will just open, create something like this for you. That's really very handy. So let's open it inside our browser. I want you guys to install an Visual Studio Code extension. Click go to extension section and search here live server. L-I-V, live S-E-R, okay, server. I want to install this. This extension uh, will help you to open, uh, create a live server uh, for your pages. And every time you save, you don't have reloaded manually. So let's open this, open this file with our live server. And you can see here, this is our file empty right now. And there is one document uh, written inside our here title. So we want HTML complete course to be displayed here. To do that, let's uh, re edit this. So we added that. Okay, it's close. So as you can see, the, we have done similar to something like this. Now uh, we want to build a, a website like this. To do that, let's create a main tab, main body of this. Our body have uh, this is our body. Anything that uh, inside, uh, anything we want to add uh, displayed here, we have to write this inside our body. So what we want uh, is a section called a main body uh, with this background so let's say uh, i want to create a main body so in html5 uh, in newer html there is a main tag main ma i main html tag which is a schematic tag which tells that this is the main body main part of this website let's style it so we can have a background purple background 
s t y l style so we use uh, style is an attribute uh, which can which we can give to any uh, html tag now let's give a background color to it b a c k background color let's give a background color of blue violet color since i already built that website i know which color looks best for this type uh, on this so i am copying that color and adding it inside here let's save it i already saved it uh, and let's see nothing is displaying because we haven't set height and width for it let's set height and width so we want to width of w i d d h width of 100 percent 100 percent and height of h e i g h t height of we want it to complete uh, to take a full screen height so full screen height means 100 vh view height so it will take every uh, all the uh, all complete view uh, viewable height that means uh, it will take the complete whole, uh, screen height okay something is wrong uh, let's check h e i g h t blue violet background color blue violet mean this and okay complete uh, we added this wallet but there is some spacing uh, around our content so we don't want that to remove uh, that, that spacing we have to uh, set a new spacing for our body to set a new uh, new spacing let's say style let's style it style uh, margin zero of zero pixel so you can add this uh, there are em ram pixel a point centimeter inches uh, to define a size uh, in html but we use majorly use percent pixel ram m that's it 100 pixel zero pixel and padding we want also no padding so padding zero pixels to px that will do so we have removed that extra spacing around our body now let's create a navigation bar for our website okay that's difficult but we can do that so there will be a header let's create a basic boilerplate for this so let's uh, did let's do some research here so there will be a navigation header and inside this header there will be a logo section and there will be a navigation bar there will be a header section and there will be a logo and this will be a navigation so let's do that h e a t e r header header is just a div uh, and header is a semantic tag and it's just like div so inside this header let's do build a h e a d e r header and there will be a logo uh, okay mm, so id labels id and there will be a navigation bar there will be a navigation bar let's copy that navigation bar from here okay so we don't have to write everything okay shift tab shift tab shift tab shift tab let's see how it's displaying not very good okay let's get this h1 and inside this h1 or x or b so h1 is an uh, display block element uh, so that's why it's taking the full screen uh, full uh, width of this and everything will shift down but we want this to uh, display or uh, here in the same line to do that uh, in html it's not possible and using that uh, inline style property it will be a complex for a beginner so what we have already learned we will be using that so we have learned that we can use tables inside html e a b l e table there will be a table row there will be a table row inside a table t r and each table row contains some data called table data td so first table row contains our ht logo control x and control v that will do i guess and second row will contain our html links tr uh, sorry the, it, it, this table row contains two columns so two table data so we have to use td here inside this table data there will be a link so we already seen how to use links there is in our previous lecture if you haven't uh, check out that you can just visit our website uh, youtube channel and 
use this playlist to learn more about our sessions. What we have. Amazing, or maybe even a little bit overwhelming. Okay, you can just check out this playlist. It will display here. Let's close this for now and let's focus on this website. So, what what is our goal? Why I am learning all of this? Because I want to be a blockchain developer. And to do that, we have uh, I already completed our HTML. I am just introducing extra stuff about HTML. Uh, so you guys can uh, do some freelance work uh, using just only HTML and you will get some extra experience while we are just learning so next step will be our css so you can just take a screenshot or have, pause this video and see what we are going to learn in our previous section we want to create an html okay just cut this control x and control v open it okay we have this on the same line now, but it's not looking good. So what we can do is we can just give with W I D T H with with is equals to I want to give this 20% because it's only a logo and control copy paste this paste it here. Uh, I want to give this 30 pixel 30% okay 20% 30% don't forget percent symbol. Now uh, there is some spacing that look great. But, but it's not that great so to do, uh, we want to some we have to create some extra space here so what we can do is create an end table data td to there, table data with an extra space of a 50 so that will be of total that will be of total 100 so we want to give uh, our table a width of 100 so it will take everything so then save it and save this inside of all that's look great as you can see we have already built something like this here let's give it a background color so we want to give our header a background color or you okay you can always uh enclose every link tag inside a navigation tag that will be better to do that there is nothing visible uh, change uh, visible changes here but uh that will be a better way to do that uh, in HTML. We enclose every link tag inside a navigation bar in nav tag. Now I want to change uh, our header color. Let's get to some styling here, background color and background color to a white. But we want some white similar to uh, violet blue, blue violet. Control C and I choose this color to do that. Okay, that's look great. Now let's create a HTML footer here. Okay, we have done uh, our with our HTML. Let in let me introduce with HTML comments. HTML comments. So you can just type something inside our HTML file, which will not display inside our website. So that will be a great way to add notes for yourself or any for any developer who, who will be checking out your code. So here is a I want you, uh, HTML comment here. Now let's close this. So I used control and backslash to comment and uncomment this line. As you can see, control and back backslash. Right uh, left side from your ship. Let's save this and see. It will never display inside a browser because our browser knows how to deal with that comment. And it will, uh, when we inspect, uh in a browser it will be displaced like this and everything will be enclosed but everything will be collapsed but quotes comments are never get collapsed that this is something that will help you uh, while you are building website in production now uh let's build a footer for our website f o o t f footer inside this footer let's add our content name content control c so, so and copy uh, this you already know about paragraph tags and footer is an html semantic tag uh, it's just like div uh, and nothing uh, special about that just have it has in seo uh, and now let's see what is and copy so and copy uh, is a uh, we can add symbol in our html so like and symbol and copyright symbol 
and registered symbol there are many symbols uh, out there in html so which we don't have in a keyboard so how to write them so there are ways you can add that copyright symbols copyright symbols w3 school uh, i already uh, provided this uh, w3 school uh, as a resource to you guys and you can see there are so many symbols out there you can check out uh, here uh, in w3 school documentation there are emojis html emojis symbol as you can see there are so many ways to add something like emojis inside our html tags if you want uh, the statue of liberty emoji inside our html you can just uh, replace that and copy copyright okay here is control s and see it on browser okay you can see there is a statue of liberty emoji here i will be providing this link also in uh, in this control c and and just comment it down you can just check uh, copy this and open in your browser to check out this website okay now let's uh, style this put a uh, style style is equal to we want some margin to it m a r g i okay we want some background color background color and we want same color as here Control c to b okay we have given color let's save it and see okay let's look first so let's give some margin to it, uh, padding to it a d d padding padding of five pixel five pixel x x control c let's save it okay that's look great now what we can do is uh, we can create section s e c t i o n section we want to create a section so let's create it yes we are we are now creating this section here okay inside this section there are two things right uh, like, uh, first one this article and second there will be an aside section so uh, we want uh, two inside section tag there will be two things first one is article a r t i e l e article okay wrong spelling article and is uh, and one is a side a s i d e side okay as you can see uh, we have done some here but nothing is displaying here uh, because we have no, we have no content here let's say uh, article a r t i c l e article for now and aside a s i t aside for now let's save it and see okay this is displaying rights just like our navigation bar so we want to uh, do this side by side but it's uh, stacking over one another so just like our navigation bar we can use table here so let's use table t a Table, table and inside this table let's uh, do something called tr table row and table data you don't have to uh, by heart this all these things just uh, uh, you have to just understand why we are doing this so you can always recall what uh, what we are doing so that that's why i am taking time uh in writing this but i am think in thinking about this and writing it so now we want to add a, our article tag inside our first table data that will be here and let's uh, add another table data or with our aside as a content control x and control v see let's save it and okay it uh, now it's side by side but not like this uh, so what we can do is provide a width to it so width 70 percent i want to give it 70 percent because this is the main content percent uh, the remaining 30 i want to give to this section aside t percent don't forget percent so we have already seen that we won't have to give our table a bit too so let's give it a hundred percent hundred percent if you don't understand how to use table we will see it inside our next section 
where we are going to build uh, HTML emailers. Table are way complex than it looks. Okay, now it's proper. We can just use it. Now what we can do is uh, style it. So style this article section. Style, style, style. So I want a little bit margin because in our HTML here there is some gaps around that. So I I want that. So I'm giving this a margin M K R G I N margin margin. Sorry for that margin 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 margin. You know, 10 pixel or 15 pixel, 10 pixel. Yes, okay. I want margin of 15 pixel and padding also, padding of 15 pixels. So, 15 pixels. I think this is the right time to introduce a box model in CSS. Everything in HTML, HTML, CSS box model. Mm. CSS box model. Oh, okay everything inside in html it looks like this consider this as an h1 tag h1 tag consider this uh, the whole thing is an h1 tag heading tag now uh, everything inside h1 tag is content now what we are getting so we are we given 15 pixel margin padding Let's change its background color. Background color B A C K. Background color is equals to what color is background color? This B. Where is okay. B colors? Okay. As you can see, uh, I added this background color similar to this, but uh, there is something odd like this is rounded, but R is too sharp so how to create a rounded border so what we can do is we can add a CSS style called border b o r b o r border radius radius 15 pixel to make it okay this look cool great and now we want it to be colored white okay so we want our HTML to be look uh, colored white. So style style HTML style is to is equals to color C O L O R color color white. Okay, I want to add this white here. Control C Control V. So we added um, we made our heading white. Now let's add some content like this. Just copied it. Uh, I just copied it from our, our previous rebuilt file. Now let's create a paragraph tag and add this paragraph I created here. Hello, friends. Let's learn together and achieve our goals to build a better future. Okay, then there is a, some demo text here. So let's copy this multiple times uh, to make something of a block. Uh, similar to a blog a blog can contain multiple paragraph so that's why this and this is how blog as you can see uh, our footer uh, is gone very uh, bottom but uh, our background is not catching up to it so to do that let this paragraph section uh, in center uh, as we have done here Let's do that first. So we can use so we can margin and a r g n margin margin text as center. That will do what? Okay, that that worked. And now what we want to uh, do is. Uh, we want this to be full screen uh, but follow our content too so just remove this with 100 how height 100 vh i we have just have to remove that high 100 vh and it will give the same result okay now there is something wrong here we added too much content to our website just remove some of them let's do it 
now let's uh, give background color to this aside section too okay which color we want to give it so i want to provide a darker color so let's copy this darker color okay see mm -hmm. aside aside section HTY style color or uh, oh, pg color pg color background color so i guess that will do now let's copy everything margin 15 pixel padding background add to add it here we have a even margin right now let's give border radius to it so it will also be curvy border let's see okay that's complete now uh, we want this to be on top so how can we do that so to add something on top inside a table just it work only inside a table so we can just give we align we align top that will make it top, uh, this way over top now let's add some images uh give or images it doesn't matter we can add both in as the same way we just have to use image tag img img and provide a nido and nido image i am a g e image uh, so we can just take the this uh, url and it and just paste it here and see our browser. yo <laughs> let's look better uh, okay now what if you what if we want this image to take a complete full screen so we can give a width to it image style sty style style width wi width 100% one zero zero percent okay, that will be this will make our image hundred percent remember we have given some uh, uh remember we have given some padding to our this section so that's why it's not taking this uh extra it will it will uh, accept this extra space it will take hundred percent of this width now let's uh, make some curvy border here too to do that uh let's Make a border radius B O R D A border radius border fifteen pixels. Okay. Uh, okay, that's low. Great. We haven't did that in our previous uh, build, but it looks great on this. Now, what we can do is add Hinata to if we add it Naruto. So let's copy this. Uh, no. no let's copy this because everything we have to build from scratch image uh let's give a uh, image of i purposefully took this image because it's portrait so i purposefully took that this image for that on reason only so let's say uh, we want to center it because it's not looking good as it is so we can just style it as t y l style it so we want to make it center so we can use text align center the e x j text align center and to to make some text uh, align uh, to set text center we can use text align center let's do this and see what is it working or not no it's not working so either uh, you can try and check uh, whether it's working or not 
and you can use margin to margin auto margin a u t o control s save i saved it and it's still not what uh why it's not what because image is not a, is an inline element it is not an block element and margin works a uh, margin auto works on inline uh, block element but text align center works only on text so it will not work on image so both of them is not working or uh, to center this image that's why there is a, there is a concept of making thin block or inline we, you have already seen uh, that div is a block element but a span tag is not an is an inline element so cons, um, think uh, image as a span tag so to make it block we can use display inline block t i s t l a y display block so we can just make it this is a block and margin auto that will do as you can see see here let's give a big 10 pixel curvy round, rounded border border okay that's look beautiful <laughs> so we have done with our article tag oh we have we written inside article tag okay so that's how we can use html here to type this now let's build our aside so i know you guys are waiting for this aside to build something like this and play a video yes all of this feature we will be adding right now in just one 15 seconds so let's go on youtube and find a video for what you love and i want to add same video or we can just add this one and to do that click on embed and just copy it okay you can see the link has been copied now just add it inside uh, your aside boom that's finished let me know in how many seconds we did that so it's already done and see here now there can be a multiple aside section in inside one block like something like promotion uh, or maybe some ad or some important notice now let's build this inside our, let's copy this aside section and paste it down control s so we have two sections here now and let's remove that youtube so just remove uh, that and let's copy uh, this heading tag H3. and let's do this h3 h3 paste now let's create a list so this is a list with a number there are so many ways we can create list you have already seen inside our previous videos use this video to learn html in complete html in just two hours and then you can just build something like this after watching this video now uh there let's build this ordered list here so it is an ordered list so we can use we have to use ol to define order list and then list item we can create multiple list item 
copy just just copy and take so and i will just use copy html so we need html to build a website so we are going to learn html uh, we need css to style everything uh, on our website so we need uh, css there is a tailwind css uh, utility like classes library uh, for css uh, it will help us uh, building our website very uh, very quick so we are going to use tailwind css it is just a, just an alternative for bootstrap if you are learning bootstrap somewhere else so tailwind i will highly recommend you learn tailwind too because this will replace every uh, this is very cool technology for the future tailwind css javascript yes javascript is like heartbeat for our website we have to use and learn that then we will be learning react to build complex complex user interface in very simple manner we will be using nextjs to boost our reactjs then we will use mongodb as and data as our database and morales if uh, you are interested in blockchain development i highly recommend you go for morales because morales is something like a, it will help you build everything very quicker then solid solidity is must uh, to build a smart contract you must uh, have some knowledge in solidity and there is hard hat which is a tool uh, to build smart contracts so we have to learn that we using a proper tool means we are doing something right and that will help us in building things faster so now let's see our build it's look great if you want uh, if you don't want this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten just want some this you can just uh, replace on for ul unordered list so this is how it will look if you just replace or with this uh this tutorial is over okay so i want you guys to please subscribe my channel we are just 709 subscriber we need 709 subscriber more to monetize get monetize our channel and we love extra money <laughs>